Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I'm having trouble getting set up. I had the windows down because it's 73 and I thought I'd like to do this without the sound of the air conditioner, but the traffic is worse. So windows are up, air conditioner is on because I need some air. And I couldn't park anywhere next to Rogers that I usually like to park at. Somebody was just parked in their car where I usually park to chat with you guys. Imagine that, somebody else just sitting in a car. I think it's somebody waiting to pick up an employee at Rogers. So I didn't feel like hanging out there. Then I moved to my second location next to the church where there's another tree that provides shade. And I pulled up to that and there were people in the yard like having a barbecue. So I didn't want them to think I was inviting myself over. I moved yet again into a parking space but even though it's a overcast day I could tell it was still too bright for these sensitive eyes of mine that apparently don't like daylight at all so I moved again now I'm under another tree and this is an exit entrance but it's for the church and there's no mass right now so I don't think anybody's gonna care that I'm parked here so what a lot of work just to chat with you guys so here's what I did. I went to Hannaford because my mother had some stuff on her list that I normally wait to get at Walmart, but I just don't feel like going to Walmart today. And I can't tomorrow either, or Monday, or Tuesday. Not until I finish cutting 2,400 pieces of fabric for the eBay listings that I had for Fabric Friday. I have a lot of fabric to cut and a lot of other stuff to cut too. So I really need to stay close to home. You know, I know she wanted a few things and she didn't want to wait like forever. So I thought I'll run to Hannaford and I uh, picked up her things like bread that she loves there and some grapes what else she had quite a few things on her list some of the things I wasn't able to get and oh her red Franks oh and I wanted to show you guys let me see if I can reach them I can because I know a lot of you like to see foods that you have never seen and I talk about red Franks or red hot dogs often I don't know if they're just a main thing I think maybe New England I'm not sure but certainly not in all parts of the United States I don't think any much further than maybe Maine, New Hampshire. I don't know if it goes even further than that. But they're just Red Franks. Now, KM makes them. Uh, Old Neighborhood makes them. There might be a, a couple of other brands. And then, I think store brands, too. I don't know if they make the Red Franks or not. But then this is just from the deli, and this is by far the cheapest per pound that I can get. It's $4.99 a pound, and they're usually like $6.99 per pound and up. They're natural casing, so that means the stuff that the meat is stuffed into is an organ from an animal, and they have red dye, which is why they are red, and when you boil them and you bite into them, they pop. There's nothing else like these in the world. You either love them or you hate them. Now, I know a lot of people are like, you know what's in there? I'll tell you this, anything that's in there I like it. So if you tell me that there's the eyeballs of a pig ground up in here, instead of me saying, oh gross, I'm never eating these again, I say, well, apparently then I like eyeballs. <laughs> so, you know, I don't, I don't care. I don't care what's in things. If I like it, I like it. Doesn't matter what's in it. Just means I like it. But anyway, I'm certainly not the only one who likes these. And I do not eat them. I don't really like any processed foods at all now that I'm eating just meat. I love my beef and my ground beef. And that's about it. I did try some all beef hot dogs or frankfurters at Walmart, I don't know, a few tag-alongs ago. Couldn't digest them! I just don't. I don't like anything that's got stuff in it. Skyler absolutely loves these. So when I go visit her, I want to bring a cooler and bring a couple pounds. So this right here, I asked for 10, came up to $7.04 for 10 red francs. But my mother loves them, so she's getting them. Then I came to Rogers for my London broil steaks, which I was going to show you, but I'm not. I can show you one, they're right here. Again, I get asked often, what's a London broil? Somebody didn't even know I was talking about a cut of meat. It's just steak, I believe it's a chuck steak, and 
right now on sale for $2.89 a pound. I just love that price and I love this mate. And I'm telling you, I have learned how to cook steak so tender in a pan. I'd like to show you guys at some point, but I just don't have time to do all the things I want to do. But now, I used to slice everything and put them in the pan and cook it that way. Now I cook the steak whole, like on high for like a minute on each side. Then I turn it down to like halfway. I know some people have numbers, some people have high, low, medium. So let's say medium. For me, it's like number five. I put it on that for maybe three or four, depending on the thickness, three or four minutes per side. Then I turn the burner off and I just let it sit there and I'll flip it maybe a couple of times and I'll let it sit there for like 10, 15 minutes. Then I put it on a cutting board and I carve it slice thin at an angle. They used to actually have a sticker that said that on London Broil. Slice thin at an angle. And if it's still like way too rare, I turn the burner back on high and I just put all the slices back in there for just 30 seconds and it finishes cooking them. It is melt in your fucking mouth good. I cannot believe how delicious it is. So I bought 12 family packs today because I checked the flyer for next week, which starts on Monday, and they're not having anything like close to $2.99 or $3.19 on sale for steak. So I stocked up. So hopefully this will last me until the next week when they should probably have another sale on something. So I went in for that and then a gallon of milk, and that's it. And now, like I said, I'm so busy at home. I have not only a lot of fabric to cut, but I have packages to get ready for Monday's mail. The crumb pieces won't be ready until, I don't think, at least Wednesday's mail. I would like to do another crummy video tonight, but not as late as last night. Oh my God! I cannot believe the kind of mistakes I was making when I was doing the editing. I was like, what the hell was I doing? So I started out making one mistake, which was so incredibly simple, and my mind just could not figure it out. And I left that one in. Now, I didn't like really make a big deal out of it. There was big pauses in there where I was questioning, what? What am I doing? It's almost like, have I ever done this before? <laughs> I just felt totally lost. But I got through that, and I was able to leave that mistake in the editing. And then I made another mistake that I was dumbfounded by again. And I planned on leaving that in there too. I wanted to just show you guys another way or something to do about on the diagonal. And I was wanting to make some fabric that would go with another piece. Up until that point, all was good. And then I grabbed a totally different piece than I intended on. And I remember while I was sewing, again, I was like, what's wrong with this? What am I doing wrong? Well, I didn't realize that I had grabbed another whole piece, not even the piece that I showed you. And it was like within a second. I'm like, let's put these two together. And I do one little thing to one side and then I pick up another whole piece. Now, I know that doesn't sound weird. Maybe, well, maybe it does sound weird, but probably not like weird enough to like scare you. I just grabbed the wrong piece of fabric. But stuff like that is scary to me because I didn't recognize the fact that it wasn't the fabric. I mean, that's just crazy. It would be like, you know, saying you're going to put these socks on and you have two white socks and then the next second you're putting on a white sock and a yellow sock and you can't understand why that's odd and you're like, what's wrong here? You know what I mean? That's what I felt like. And then after that, I did the same weirdo combination again. I took two different things that I was going to put together, showed them to you, explained how I was putting them together, and then the few seconds that it took for me to take that away from the camera and get it to my needle, I had completely swapped out one of the fabrics. I don't know. It was weird. So I couldn't edit that. I had to just cut that all out so that video ended abruptly and I, I was bothered by it all night all the rest of the night into the wee hours of morning because it was very late when I went to bed. But again, not bothered me like so much for the video, but just how weird that was that my mind just wasn't working at all. I guess that's called being tired. So tonight, if I do any crumbing, I will not wait so late and get it done a little sooner. And I am very happy about that series. 
please don't tell me I need to take a break. Please, please don't tell me that. <laughs> Everybody tells me to relax. You deserve a break. Take a break. Do something nice for yourself. Do something nice for yourself. Okay. I guess apparently all the things that I love to do, that I have created my world where I can do the things that I love to do on a regular daily basis, I guess that's not taking care of myself at all. I'll just never understand things like that. I guess I will just be cutting this kind of short because, like I said, I've got stuff to do and it is past three o'clock. I'm glad it's only past three because it feels like it's 6 p.m. Is there mass? Oh, there is! There must be a four o'clock mass. That's why all of a sudden people are coming in here. So I am in the way after all. All right, I'm going to go home. I'm just going to say bye. Thank you for letting me chat with you for a little bit. I always look forward to my car vlogs because I just feel like I can connect with you guys in some way. So thank you so much, and I'll be back with more soon. Bye.